missing link that completes the saga. So that's pretty wicked. He's all bloody up. And this is, oh, why is Eli there? You see, what did these guys see? Let me reverse a little bit. Hold on, let me pause it right. All right, right there, you see where my mouse is? Yeah, subscribe guys, subscribe. So right here, Eli, definitely Eli, no doubt about it. A lot of people are saying, why isn't Ocelot here? Well, maybe Ocelot was, you know, they part of, you know, during this event, maybe uh, he was managing the base, maybe he's doing another mission, we don't know. But a lot of people are like, really, on this idea that Ocelot has something to do uh, with going against Big Boss or something like that, or Venom Snake. I will call him Venom Snake and everything like that because he's not there in this scene here showing all the char all the you know support characters and the good characters and or I say quote unquote good because we don't know if everyone's good and whatnot. Of course, you could say why isn't D Walker there? Why isn't D D there? I mean not D D D Horse not there and everything like that. So to be honest, I think that's a little bit kind of like that is not really a reason. Um, to say, oh, Ocelot is not in the, uh, you know, in this scene here, so he must be a bad guy. He must be working against Venom Snake or something. I really don't think it. I just think he just wasn't there at the time. Maybe he was on. Maybe he's uh, where Huey is right now. Maybe he's on that side over there. And if you guys are also wondering why Huey's walking, he did develop some type of machinery to allow him to walk. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I really don't know why they don't have this technology. To be honest, in this game, it seems much more advanced than in the other games, especially Metal Gear Solid 4, which is supposed to be, like, years into the future and whatnot. But, you know, that's just obviously, um, you know, the, the development stages of the games. Obviously, this game was a little bit more uh, advanced. Not advanced, but it was created afterwards. So, obviously, Hiro Kojima probably had, like, a whole bunch of imaginative ideas to implement and all that, which I, to be honest, is no gripe for me. I think that's pretty cool that they're doing that, uh, making the game kind of, like, futuristic while at the same time trying to remind you, hey, this is 1984, guys, right? Um... Let me continue the trailer here. So we see Eli, of course. V has come too. Available September 1st. And yeah, baby. Yeah. And September 1st is around the corner. All right. So I'm going to pause it right here. All right. Day one edition. Go buy that stuff, guys. Um, right. No. We'll, 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 we'll pause it right here. V has come too. Um. So, besides the anal an analysis of the trailer, I'm kind of want to talk about some, and not spoilers, but rumors I've heard. I know I told you guys in the past in which I really don't care about spoilers um, as long as I get to play the game and see all these actual events happen. I'm happy with that. So, I was kind of doing some research. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I kind of did some research a while back ago, and I found a link uh, to this forum in which they were talking about the game and whatnot. And I'm sad to say the leaks are most likely or kind of, I say 50-50 at this point because some of the leaks are just kind of really outlandish and have no support evidence to it. But a lot of the theories that they stated are kind of true, all right? Um, the one theory I will admit to is, obviously we saw here, is the Metal Gear being upright, all right? And that was shown in this guy who he had a strategy guide from uh, Italy and everything. He was showing it. And it actually showed that Metal Gear standing upright. So now we've confirmed it. So now we can confirm some part of the information that this guy has stated based on the strategy guy he has told us. All right. At this point, no one knows for sure if Venom Snake is a different character. We still don't know yet, even with the strategy guide out. Because even the strategy guide, it conceals that fact. And it doesn't really tell you too much about it. It just kind of gives you hints that it could be or maybe not. But we also know that Kido Kojima is known to lie a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's, he was trying to like, oh, no, guess what? It, it was really Big Boss. I just wanted to cause commotion on the internet because it's what I do. Um, but with that being said, there's also, um, I actually saw today a video. I was on the forum again kind of see if there's to see if there's any more evidence um, or any more leaks that were kind of feasible. And there was a YouTube video, on which I am not going to link to or anything like that, uh, because I think it was already taken down, but it was set on private, but it was still taken down, I think. And it showed, basically, the very first scene of Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. It shows... Um, that you are in the hospital and it shows you what happens in the hospital. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil it to you, but holy shit, crazy shit happens in the beginning. It was only like 
like I think like five minutes of actual footage. So I really didn't get to see too much of the hospital scene. Um, but it kind of gave me some idea like, oh shit, oh shit. Like literally your jaw is going to drop when you see the first part of the game itself. And you can be like, damn Kojima, you sneaky bastard and everything like that. One thing I, I, I do want to say, they uh, I think they already confirmed this, that, that there is an avatar creation, but that's online only. It's been confirmed that the avatar creation is only online. It's just basically to have uh, your own character online, kind of like we did in Metal Gear Online on uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and everything, where you can create your own character and whatnot. I think that's what they were trying to implement, just kind of like in the beginning. And I think trying to confuse you too as well because um, – I really don't know anything about Ishmael, to be honest. It didn't really say anything about Ishmael at all. Um, but, you know, with that being said, with the character creation, that's pretty cool. And I saw what you can do in the character creation, and it's pretty damn awesome, to be honest. Uh, it's it's pretty thorough, too. You can put scars, tattoos, change your hair. You can be bald. You can do this and that, yada, yada, yada. It's pretty damn cool. So expect that in the beginning of the game. I think that that's, like, the very first thing that happens in the beginning of the actual game itself. You just create uh, your online character and everything like that. Because, obviously... You have your um, your mother base, oh, which is the FOB, also the uh, what's it, the frontline overseas. I forgot what it's called. Uh, in which you get to ha have your character run around protecting your base and everything like that. So I think that's what, that's why they implemented that. So it feels like you don't have to play as big boss. You can play as your own character, your own soldier, and everything. But other than that, that's basically it. I, like I said, I am not going to spoil the beginning of the of the hospital scene because that's. Oh shit, dude! Oh, like I'm literally like, even though I know about this, I can't wait until I see it on my end because it is going to be awesome. All right. Uh, other than that, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I know this was a little bit of long uh, analysis. I'll obviously split this video up due to the constraints of you know copyright issue that I had for having an image of Naruto. Stupid ass copyrights. But other than that, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will do. I will be doing hopefully some playthroughs real quick of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Two, the the original games on MSX and uh, Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Because I have the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection, so it has all the games beforehand of this one, except Ground Zeroes, of course. That's sold separately and so separately. And so basically, I'm gonna see if I can do some of videos on that. Other than that. Uh, since I already know kind of the spoilers uh, due to the fact that uh, I think in Belgium, mind you, be careful guys out there. They've already released leaks of the game. Like I said, I saw gameplay footage of the very first scenes of the hospital scene. So it's been confirmed that the game has been leaked out ahead of time. Obviously not in the States, but it has been leaked, I think, in Belgium or some shit like that. In which people got the game ahead of time. And they were streaming like crazy. And they were taking down the streams on Twitch. I guess Konami was taking them out down really quickly about that. Because obviously September's, September 1st is not here yet. And so... If I was you guys, avoid any Reddits, any 4chans, any forums, any Metal Gear forums or anything like that. Uh, YouTube, luckily, they're quick on their feet with that. So unless it's listed as private or unlisted, um, you know, they're going to take down all those public videos. And I've, I looked online, all the public videos, uh, they're out there, but Metal Gear are legit. They're not, you know, they don't have any spoilers or anything like that. Um, but that's basically it. And uh, yeah, I really can't wait for this game. We get to fight a giant ass Zone of the Enders uh, mech, I don't know the, the names of the Zone of the Enders mechs. I never played the game. Don't sue me. Don't don't kill me. I just, I never heard about it. Uh, I never, I could actually never find the game, actually. And I never had um, eBay or Amazon back then and everything like that when I was a kid. So I couldn't really get the game uh, buying it online. And my parents, yeah, they're not computer savvy. But other than that, that's basically it. I think this trailer was really well done. To be honest, Kojima, I would have liked if you didn't tell us about the upright Metal Gear because that would have really made my jaw drop when I was playing. I was like, oh, okay, cool, look, Metal Gear got stuck. Haha, -ha, bitch, you can't go anywhere. Transform. And I was like, oh, fuck. Are you serious? Okay, I just came a little bit, but oh my god. So, I think, Kojima, to be honest, you should have not put it in there, but nonetheless, it's making this game even more fucking incredible as it is as, as, as of now. Uh, but other than that, that's basically it, guys. And like I said, do not, I repeat, do not go on those spoiler forums if you do not want to know what happens in the game, all right? Because a lot of the information they state there has been confirmed due to play, people playing the game already. So be careful, all right? Other than that, that's basically it. And I'll see you guys around. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.
Hey guys, it's Palm Primus here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this one, press the link in the top left corner right there. Otherwise, press the link in the top right corner to take you to a random ass video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And to be updated on what's going on on my channel, visit my Facebook and my Twitter. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.